Question 4. Figure 2 shows a sketch of the curve C with parametric equations x equals 4 tan t, y equals 5 root 3 sin 2t, t is between 0 and pi over 2. The point P lies on C and has coordinates 4 root 3, 15 over 2. Part A of the question says find the exact value of dy dx at the point P, give your answer as a simplified cert. We begin by differentiating x and y, both with respect to t. x equals 4 tan t and y equals 5 root 3 sin 2t. In the formula booklet it tells you the derivative of tan t is 6 squared t. So the derivative of 4 tan t will be 4 6 squared t. To differentiate y, we find the derivative of 2t, which is 2. We multiply that by 5 root 3. 2 times 5 root 3 gives us 10 root 3. And the derivative of sin is cos. So dy dt equals 10 root 3 cos 2t. Using the chain rule for differentiation, dy dx, we can write again on the other side, but I like to split it up. So it looks like this. x and y are both given in terms of t. So we put dt here and here. And then to work it out, we substitute the values we've just worked out. So it's dy dt, which is 10 root 3 cos 2t, times dt dx. Well, dt dx is 1 over dx dt. So times by 1 over 4 sec squared t. Remember to use the third letter rule if you're not sure what sec and cosec of t is. So sec t, the third letter is c, so it's 1 over cos. Cosec t, the third letter is s, so you know it's 1 over sine. So sec squared t, we know is 1 over cos squared t. So if we have 1 over sec squared t, then it's going to give us cos squared t. So we have 10 root 3 cos 2t cos squared t over 4. We can divide the 4 and the 10 by 2 to get 5 root 3 over 2 cos 2t cos squared t. At the point P, which is 4 root 3 and 15 over 2, we're already given x equals 4 tan t. If we sub in the x value of t into this formula, then we can rearrange to find t. We can divide both sides by 4 to get root 3 equals tan t. And to get t, we can take the arc tan of root 3, which is 60 degrees or pi over 3 in radians. So now that we know what the value of t is, we can sub this back into our dy dx, which will give us the value of dy dx at the point p. So when t equals pi over 3, dy dx equals 5 root 3 over 2, cos 2 times pi over 3, cos squared pi over 3. 2 times pi over 3 is 2 pi over 3, and cos of 2 pi over 3 is minus a half. Cos of pi over 3 is plus a half. So cos squared pi over 3 will be a half squared. So simplifying each term, we have 5 root 3 over 2 times minus a half times a half squared. A half squared is a quarter. A quarter times minus a half is minus an eighth. And then times them by this gives us minus 5 root 3 over 16. The point Q lies on the curve C, where dy dx equals 0. Part B says find the exact coordinate of the point Q. From part A we found that dy dx is equal to 5 root 3 over 2 cos 2t cos squared t. Setting this equal to 0, this is the equation that we have to solve. So we can divide both sides by 5 root 3 over 2 to get rid of it. Whenever we have a product of two terms equal to zero, either the first term equals zero or the second term equals zero. So we have cos 2t equals zero or cos squared t equals zero. Here we need to remember that t is between zero and pi over two, which means 2t is between zero and pi. So multiplying this by two and multiplying the zero by two. To find 2t, we can take the arc cos of zero which gives us pi over 2. To find t, we can divide by 2 to get t equals pi over 4, which is within the range. 
To solve this equation, we can square root to get cos t equals 0. Arc cos of 0 is pi over 2, so t equals pi over 2. Notice here, t cannot be equal to pi over 2, it must be less than pi over 2, so we ignore this answer. This is the solution that we will be using. In the question, we are already given that x equals 4 tan t and y equals 5 root 3 sin 2t. So substituting pi over 4 into here gives us x equals 4 tan pi over 4. Tan of pi over 4 is equal to 1, so 4 times 1 gives us 4. Substituting t equals pi over 4 into here gives us 5 root 3 sin pi over 2 because 2 times pi over 4 is pi over 2 and we, we can work out on our calculator that sin of pi over 2 is 1 so 1 times 5 root 3 is 5 root 3 therefore the coordinates of the point Q is 4 and 5 root 3